my channel and uh, my name is Busola if you're seeing this face for the very first time and I do hope you subscribe to this channel to watch more of my videos and to get notified of new videos so if you watch my last video you know that you should be expecting this video how much have I spent so far in this journey of becoming a lawyer in Canada as a new immigrant a Nigerian lawyer back home and uh, in my journey of getting qualified to be a lawyer in Canada as well. How much have I spent so far? So let's go right into this video. This one will be very short. It's just direct. And it's an extension of my last video. I just needed to split just to, you know, so I don't just put in two. I don't like putting in long videos. So, so let's go to this video. And um, firstly, bring out your calculator let's calculate this this look yes okay so let us do this calculation how much i've spent so far i'm going to start with nca application fee you know you have to open a profile just like any other thing like if you want them to do something for you you have to open an application this is my own experience like i said it refers to the nca official website for current updates i know that fees especially fees it changes every time every every time so please check out the website but how much high how much have i high spent so far so i started with paying for the application fee which is 500 canadian dollars minus tax so by the time i paid in it was about 550 which was inclusive of tax which was inclusive of tax, right? And after I paid in, then I started reaching out to um, the bodies, like to my school, my law school, and all of that. And for that one, um, for that one, so then, Naira was still better. So I'm going to use the amount I used then. Not, I'm, 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 I'm going to be saying all of this in Canadian dollars. So I don't want to complicate things say nigeria uh, naira and also as at then let's say i spent total 400 canadian dollars for processing and everything you know fast tracking all of these things let's say i spent 400 canadian dollars just be calculating with me on the screen so i already said 550 with 400 canadian dollars so for my exams I have registered for three so far you know i said i have two next month so i must have registered before then so i've registered for two next month and i've written one already and for each of the exams it is 550 yes 550 minus tax but by the time i paid it was capping to 575 so it was it was five seventy five fifty cents. So it was five hundred and seventy seven. No, not five seventy five. It was five seventy seven dollars and fifty cents. So times three of that. Then to materials. Ah, uh, I've not spent so much on that. Thank God because, and this is one of that tip. If you don't know, if you live in Canada, depending on the province. I, I don't want to say something I don't know, but in my own province in Calgary, at Calgary Libraries, so I am entitled to 50 pages of white and black printed copies free. So my daughter too is entitled to it, my husband is entitled to it, and both of them are not using this every month. So what I do is initially I started when I was writing my professional responsibility exams, the one I already passed. When I wrote it, I went to Staples, I printed, bind, everything. It was it was a lot of money. Not like a lot, but you know, you're already paying a lot. Like, you don't want to go through that. So what I did, and if you have the opportunity, you can try it too. So what, I, what I've been doing, not did, say what I'm still doing is, I print out, so I am entitled to 150 pages every month, right? So I print out 150 of my material. And you know, like, all of these things is still like an ongoing process. So just in case you're wondering why you need to print out materials, that's because uh, it's an open book exam, but it's, it has to be add copies, like physical, printed out, text or textbooks, materials, and all of that. You can also use textbooks. It's expensive, basically. It can be expensive. Some people would prefer to go for... Uh, 
textbooks so all of this material can be expensive it really can but for me it's it's better so um since i said the 150 printing of pages and all of that so let's say for materials so far let's say 200 canadian dollars uh, because I before I started the library thing, I also still buy some things. So what I do once I print, I buy this binder in Dollarama, which is less than five dollars, right? I will um I perforate my um I perforate my material in the library. They have a perforator, and I just use I just put it in the binder, and that's all. <laughs> that's what I've been doing lately, and it's it's really so good. And we don't know, even if you're getting materials, all of these things, like, they also sell. So you pay for material from people that sells. There are different materials and everything. I'm not going into all of that. So how much have I spent so far? So the total currently is 2882 Canadian dollars and 5 cents. So that's how much I've spent so far. Let's just say 3,000. <laughs> and that's minus. We saw, oh, I'm in the library. Let me quickly go to Tim Hortons to buy coffee. I feel sleepy, you know. That's minus all of that. It's <laughs> so that's it. And I still have two. Oh, I think two. I still have three more. Three more papers to pay for. Like 577, 577. I know legal research is a bit it's cheaper than other exams. So, like I said, I think, I'm not very sure, but I think it's like 500 or less than 500. But let's just say everything. I still have, like, so I still have like three exams more to pay for. And I haven't paid for that yet because I haven't registered for that yet. So, that's just for the three that I've paid for and other expenses ancillary expenses and let me now tell you what i just had that i didn't even know i just had this yesterday like yesterday of the day i was making this video right so yesterday that's like last week <laughs> i was like my friend just called me she's, she's like she's already at that stage that simplest stage i told you so she has finished all her exams she's also in Alberta and she's doing that um simplest program i already said all of this in this video if, in my last video if you've not seen that video, please, I recommend that you watch that. Um, even if you want to watch it after this. But watch that so that you can get a good understanding of what I'm saying. So, I just asked, like, how far? That, are you even paying for this thing? Because I didn't know that we have to pay. She said yes. And I said, ah, okay, how much did you pay? I don't want to cry. She said, ah, that she paid 6000 I said, hey, eh? Wow. Six what? <laughs> like I was just so surprised. I was really, really surprised. Six thousand Canadian dollars. You know how much that is in Naira now? <laughs> oh my God! I was like, so we are not done yet because I was thinking, oh, after all of this exam, it's all over. <laughs> and I remember I was even comparing because I also have a friend who is going through this process as a pharmacist, and I was, she was telling me, oh, this is how much. I pay and all of that. I say, ah, yours is even more expensive. I didn't know that I was still coming back. Like, it's a lot of money. But if you have a dream and you want it to come to pass, it's, it's not too much to achieve this dream. We will achieve it. So I know that at the end of my program, it, it, it should, it, it's going to be close to, if not, it should be close to 12,000 Canadian dollars at the end. I'm not so sure. Like, I will always update you how much i've spent so far in all my videos once i maybe after my exams i'll tell you this is how much i already then simplet so i actually also checked the website and i saw that it's actually six thousand one hundred she she even said six thousand so she missed the hundred <laughs> so six thousand one hundred canadian dollars although i also saw that depending on the stage you are right you might get a discount so i saw that um our butter bar association can discount it for you by so they can i think they have they can take like two six out of that for you so you'll be paying like three five but according to what she told me so she said that um that will happen if you're you've started your article 
you know, if you start your articling, you're a bit, you're, you're it's not like you're called though, but like you're already in that process, you're a bit recognized by the bar size. Depending, like I said, this thing is, doesn't apply to all provinces. Some provinces will write uh, law exams, bar exams. We here in Calgary, in Alberta, basically, we do discipline. So she was telling me that if you start your article, if you get your article in before doing discipline, you will get a discount. So you might not have to pay the 6100 What well, getting article alone is no joke. It's like you're looking for a job too, basically. You're looking to get employed. You're putting in your best foot. It's a lot of work. So if you don't get, of course, you want to move on with your process of getting qualified right if you don't get article at least you can, if you can if you don't get article at least you can get simply that one you don't have to do anything to do so i don't think anyone will be waiting that until i get article in so as to save uh, money i don't think so so but currently for me shall mine is still like less than three thousand or about three thousand canadian dollars that's what i've spent so far and i just thought to let you know and ask you are you ready for this journey? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I believe it's worth it, despite naysayers. Like I was watching, uh, I saw one video of one person, one TikToker, was saying, uh, uh, "Jobs that are not lucrative as an immigrant in Canada. I don't know, not jobs, courses." So I believe she was talking to students, but if you are saying courses and you said law, so that means that even me that I'm trying to qualify as law because she was talking about. The ones that you can get returned on, like you can get jobs. So don't come and study lawyer lawyers. She was saying that lawyers are not I mean like immigrant lawyers are not making money. I'm like, that's your own no. Let me show you guys the video because this video is short anyway. So watch the video. Number one is law. Yes, I said it law. There are no jobs for lawyers here. There's no money in law. Nobody's going to employ you to come and defend somebody else in court. Law is a very selective profession. So if you are coming as a lawyer, just know that that twenty thousand dollars you are spending on your education, you might not get it back. There are jobs, maybe for one percent of the people that come, but it's not a lucrative career in Canada. Please don't come. I mean, I'm like that's your own, and I feel like it's so appalling to think that in this age and time, in twenty twenty three, people still don't understand that there are different ways to practice law. Anywhere in the world, you don't have to go to like people still think that it's just a traditional. Once you say you're a lawyer, they're asking you, Oh, did you go to court today? Like, it doesn't have to be court. There are so many ways. Ha. Hey, we'll finish this thing, we'll practice this law, and we'll make good money, regardless of whatever anyone is saying. So, if you are watching this video and you are in this process, I join my faith with yours and. Uh, we will finish the race and we'll make money at the end. We'll do well, we'll do well in our practice, abide by it because that's one of these things. It's it's no joke. You have to, you have to. There are rules, there are expectations of lawyers. And that's why I will always also say everything I'm saying, it's not legal advice. It's not um, a recommendation. It's just me stating my personal experience. So please take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. That's the end of this video. It's short, right? I believe it's too it's short. That's the end of this video. And I'll see you this time next week again. Thank you for watching. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to this channel. I really, really need the numbers. Thank you. See you same time next week. Bye.